travelling to Eastern Europe to deliver a shirt front to Vladimir Putin. I have never ceased to want freedom and democracy for Ukraine, a country yearning to be rid of the bondage of Moscow. A former Prime Minister who's clashed with Russia before urges Australia to do more to help fight back a brutal invasion. Tony Abbott backing calls for extra army vehicles and the immediate return of an ambassador to war-torn Kyiv. So out of character for Australians to huddle in safety when there's work to be done. The devastating assault on Ukraine has brought into sharp focus the future of land warfare. Here, the government's recently scaled back a massive army project to construct new high-tech infantry fighting vehicles. Now, the ABC's revealed it's instead considering sending the work overseas. The Prime Minister is exporting those Australian jobs and we're going to be importing the vehicles that should be made here in Australia. Australia's defence industry is increasingly dismayed at what it sees as a trend towards buying military equipment off the shelf from international suppliers. But Labor insists local manufacturers aren't being abandoned. We're obviously very committed to uh, sovereign defence industry. That commitment's being tested, though, as the government looks for quick ways to acquire lethal technology. Andrew Green, ABC News, Canberra.